Now we just have one more and we're done. Today I helped out with the electrical systems. We wired up all the hardware and I got to try out soldering for the first time, so that was pretty fun. Today's been a busy day. As an RI3D team, one of the things we aim to do is uh, approach every aspect of the challenge just to give FRC teams as many ideas as they could get. Yesterday we worked on our shooter for the high goal. We've also worked on some ways to pick up the gear from the feeder station and put it on the peg. Uh, today we started on our second robot. The second robot is going to be used to pick up all of the ground and in batches deposit, deposit them in the locals. We've also started working on a climb mechanism which will be using hooks to climb on the rope. Oh yeah, so this is the Wolverine. This is the device that the robot will be using to climb the rope at, in the challenge. And so as you can see this will spin, the rope will catch here and it will coil on the rest of the machine. Here is a gear box and it's uh, 56 to 1 ratio and if we need more torque we can increase the gear ratio. So what we have been building today is for the second robot. We're calling it the Spinetti. It's going to be attached to the chassis and essentially what it does is collects balls and when it spins. So we're going to a drill on this side just for the testing and at different RPMs we were spinning the thing so that it collects balls and then shoots them up into the robot. Uh, so today we completely redid the shooting mechanism. Um, this morning we tested it and the arc was completely flat so we made it so that the arc comes this way this now. So the ball comes in and comes out the other way. Uh, another reason for this uh, is because uh, originally we had our flywheel and we were directing it uh, with the backboard on the back of the middle of the robot with the flywheel in the front. And one of the main issues with that is uh, because of, it has a very straight pro trajectory, trajectory um, what will happen is it's pretty easy to defend because if you have a three foot robot standing right in front of you, you pretty much can't fire. Whereas in this case, because the launch mechanism is so far back, it's pretty much impossible to block because even as a human you couldn't stand there because uh, the arc angle is so high. As well, uh, we changed our, our uh, amount of contact time. Uh, yesterday we were finding, uh, we wanted to go with an instantaneous contact time so it would fire and accelerate the ball to full speed the instant that the flywheel touched it. But uh, today we were finding that that was actually very inconsistent. Um, because it was only touching at a certain point. So today we decreased the compression um, and um, increased the amount of time that it was contacting the flywheel. And what this does is it gives it more time to accelerate the ball um, and more traction on the ball over that amount of distance. Um, it also doesn't rely on the compression of the ball as much, which although isn't that big of a deal this year, uh, we do want to take that into consideration. Uh, moving forward, uh, we also want to add our feeder system right on top of this, like a giant tr tank or tray, and that will feed balls into the system um, and launch them.